All right, we are finishing off this album. Let's see if it turns even more summer light today. Oh, who loves the flow of this? Shoo oh. off! The emotion, the power, that it just explodes. <laughs>
anything from the album and, and, and just kind of combining it really being that link between the non-summary songs with the summary songs and I love it. I think it's beautiful. The vocals that she's showcasing are out of this world. I like it's such a different Sujin vocal than compared to when she was an idol. It was often a, a deeper nasally uh, Sujin but these bright vocals are amazing. But let's get right on. Let's get into the next one. Summer Days. Wow, we get a really distinct vibe. Almost, I want to say day six, like. Her singing's got that Miami Nights vibe. This effect, this reverb, or whatever it is. This course is immaculate. Damn. Wow, it's mesmerizing. It's like hypnotism. Lock that guitar. But is this all in English too? Or am I... Maybe the other songs were too, I didn't notice. This one is, right? Yo, like... One thing is Sujin, right? But the instruments have hit perfectly every time. This whole album is incredible. Ooh. I almost want to see Sujin, you know, with a little bit of guitar playing this this solo out. Oh, this is the outro. Okay, dope ass outro. Wow. Okay, that was uh, that was Sujin's Summer Days, a full English song uh, from what I can tell, and it's incredible god damn they are again going a little tiny bit towards that retro vibe it gives me a little bit of those kind of miami nights neon lights kind of uh kind of vibes but the instruments also gives me a lot of day six vibe more so specifically like the the more recent day six and maybe even day six even off day you know gives me a lot of those vibes i would love to see like a collab where they're the ones playing while sujin comes in to sing for a song like this that's probably never gonna happen because that's like never happened but I would love that. I think that they would mesh perfectly together with her vocals and their kind of instrumentals and the synths that they often use. So I love this song. It's, it's just played towards one of my favorite bands out there. Probably my favorite actual band out there. And I love it. What, what a good way to end this album. But yeah, guys, that was Sujin's Drop Top and Summer Days. One of them being, you know, a, a full English song. And it really got me thinking, wait, did I just not notice the others weren't in, in, in Korean? But no, I believe Summer Days was the only full English song and damn it was good like this whole album has been amazing I think it showcases Sujin incredibly well it showcases this kind of other version of Sujin that we are not as used to incredibly well at least not compared to how we know
know her from from a lot of the idol songs where her voice is just utilized in a little bit of a different way i really really love this i think she's showcasing herself so damn well the songs themselves have a perfect vibe to them and it's, it's honestly so damn hard to even choose the song that is my favorite. I think all six of them are kind of fighting for the spot. So I don't even think I'd be able to just choose it off the top of my head. I'd have to sit here and have listened to all of the songs like 10 times. Do like an analysis on everything just to find my, my favorite of them all. But I love them. I really, really think she's hit it out of the park with this album. It's a banger. Honestly, you know, AOTY material right here if I'm not, if I'm being honest. But let me know what you guys thought about Sujin's drop top and summer days down in the comments below and let me also know which song from this album you guys or is your guys's favorite down in the comments below and i guess i'll see you guys next time Shh.